you know that every person in Malaysia use an average of 201 liter of water per day. This equal to 134 bottles of 1.5 liter. Have you ever think where does the water come from? Of course, it comes from our tap. But actually, the water journey to your tap starts further back from what you expect. Basically, a water supply system consists of three basic components. The source of the water, the treatment of the water, and the distribution of water to the end user. In Malaysia, the main source of water is the rainwater. The rainwater that results from the water cycle will fill in the river, lakes or ocean. Some of the rainwater also infiltrate into the ground and become groundwater. So what's next? This water will be brought to a treatment plant. Water treatment process will improve water quality to make sure it's safe for human consumption. In water treatment plant, the water will undergo few processes starting with screening larger items. Then, a coagulant which is aluminium sulfate will be added into water to produce flock. Flock is the suspended particles contained in water that clump together. This is done in coagulation and flocculation process. Flock will settle out to the bottom of the sedimentation tank through gravity and it will be disposed out. Next, filtration process will remove organic compounds which can cause taste and other problems. Lastly, Chlorine will be added into the water to kill all the bacteria before the water keep into storage. Now, the water will be delivered to the end user because it is already safe to use. The communication pipe running from the authority supply pipe to our property boundary. This communication pipe are belong to the water authority. Then, the water will flow into a service pipe. This service pipe connecting the main pipe with a building. From the service pipe, water flow into distribution pipe in our house. Now, the water is ready to be used for washing dishes, keep personal hygiene, to do laundry, and also to watering our plants. 